thanks for joining us. Tell us a little bit about what the Catalyst is aiming to do. So what we're aiming to do here is solve some of the challenges that NFV are bringing to OSS by turning it into a big data problem. NFV introduces so many things that are moving in new ways very quickly that creates a lot of management challenges. And we are bringing the big data techniques, which have already been proved in other verticals, into OSS. Okay. And the business benefits of that, will it help the top line uh, save money? It uh, reduces time to deploy, it reduces time to introduce new services, it reduces time to change in a DevOps environment. Okay. And why the need particularly for a catalyst? I mean, what value does a catalyst add in this context? Well, we're, we're doing a couple of things. Because we're a catalyst, we're taking user stories from the TMF user community, from TR229. The members of the TMF came to the TMF and said, these are the challenges that DevOps are posing for us. We need you to solve how we're going to manage these NFE systems effectively, how we're going to migrate VMs, how we're going to end, uh, ensure a service end to end. We need, we need help in doing that. We thought we have a big data approach, but that was an idea. This catalyst is proving it, and it's taking an infrastructure that uh, Cisco has developed with partner contributions from a variety of other vendors who are doing the analytics and showing that that works. And that's why we did a catalyst, because we need to make the idea real. Okay. And who exactly is involved? Uh, well, Cisco is doing uh, the architecture, but we're using open source software for that. And then we have our partners, uh, Ontology, Sev1, and MOOCsoft. And what are you aiming to get done in 2015? Well, we've proved the concept this time around, so now what happens next is to go, go broader um, and also to start contributing what we've learned back into the TMF through uh, information guides, application notes, and proposed standards for integration. Joe, thank you very much.